spooky spirits and welcome back i'm so excited to get into another spooky season movie um this one i don't know if it's gonna be spooky i don't i don't think it probably is honestly um today if you listen to the title of the thumbnail today we're watching clue from 1985 i saw a lot of requests for this when i put up a poll of three different movies to check out and this one won by quite a landslide and i was a little bit surprised because i was like i didn't think anybody else even knew about this movie and if they did i didn't think that it was so widely popular so I'm really curious about it. I know it's based off the board game Clue, which I love the board game. I'm really excited to get into it, but I have no background, as I said. So let's just get into it. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy my first time watching Clue from 1985. All right, Clue, we're into it. Uh, I don't know her. Tim Kerr. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna... Okay, right now I'm gonna make my guess on who the murder is going to be. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess it's going to be Tim freaking Curry because has there ever been a role of Tim Curry where he didn't play the villain? I mean, I haven't seen a whole lot of Tim Curry movies, but he was in Scooby-Doo, which is Ghost, and he played Ben Ravencroft, who, spoiler alert, turned into a villain. Or he's the It clown, who, again, is as big as, as the villain as you can get in It. So I'm really gearing towards he's going to be the murderer, like, just right off the bat. Tim Curry cannot not be the villain. All right, here we are. Oh, those are such cute dogs. Who is this guy? Oh, damn. Those chains are not long enough or short enough if they can get the person still. Oh, they got bones though. New England, 1958. Oh, she's getting it. Go, girl. The maid is having her own dance party. Oh, don't kill her vibe. Everything ready? We need to. You have your uh, instructions. That is not, I'm going to say right now, that is not an efficient maid outfit because her, you can't be cleaning when you have all this going on. Like, you're going to get. Ooh. Everything all right, Mrs. Hyo? Oh, she's got a knife. Dinner will be ready at 7.30. 7.30? Who's eating dinner that late? Attend to the colonel and give him anything he requires within reason, that is. Yeah. For oh, Wadsworth, I was. <sighs> Miss Peacock? Do come in, madam. You are expected. Do you know who I am? Only that you are to be known as Mrs. White. Oh, yes. I always pictured Miss White to be an older lady. I always used to, whenever we used to play the game, I used to always say jokingly like Betty White, because I always pictured Miss White to be older. It says so in the letter. So does White. <laughs> Girl, what are you doing? Oh, she was trying to get him to look. What if they passed anyway? What if they were like, whatever? Yes, please. Oh my gosh, ma'am. <laughs> Sir, it's not even raining. And this is Mrs. Peacock. Oh, then who the hell is that other lady? How do you do? Hey, Beck, will you go and check that dinner will be ready as soon as all the guests have arrived? So we've got the Colonel, we've got Miss Peacock, we've got Miss White, so Ms. Professor Plum and Scarlet are on their way. Oh, bring the puppies in! You don't leave the puppies out when it's Mr. raining? Right address to meet Mr. Body? Oh, you must be Mr. Green. Yes. No, not you, sir. Oh, this is Mr. Green. Okay, I was missing a person. Oh, look at her outfit. I love it. Okay. Of 
a little too needy. Been addressed by a pseudonym, you'll have realized that nobody here is being addressed by their real name. Right. Sir. Oh my gosh. Chop fin soup, madame. So is this for our Chop host? Chop fin soup? Mr. Seventh guest, Mr. Body. I thought Mr. Body was our host. Sorry, yeah, I yeah, yeah. So who is our host, Mr. Seventh guest? <laughs> I don't like that. Well, I'm going to start while it's still hot. Oh, now, shouldn't we wait for the other guests? Always keep something warm for you. That's what you have in mind, dear. See, I don't, I don't like the idea of shark fin soup because the, the, they're cruel how they make it. Why are we slurping? Just eat it normal. Stop slurping it. Just put the spoon in your mouth. There you go. Someone's got to break the ice, and it might as well be me. I mean, I'm used to being a part of my husband's work, and it's always difficult. A little <laughs> two friends meet together for the first time to get acquainted, so I'm perfectly prepared to start the ball rolling. I mean, I, I have absolutely no idea what we're doing here, or what I'm doing here, or what this place is about, but I am determined to enjoy this. Well, I'm all with you, girl, but I would not have attended something that I have no recollection, no background, no what this even is. How did we all finish our soup so quickly? Mm. This is one of my favorite recipes. I know, madam. You know, Miss Miss Peacock's just trying to enjoy herself, and everybody else is kind of weirded out, and I don't get why. Come on, what do you do? I mean, how are we to get acquainted if we don't say anything about ourselves? Perhaps she doesn't yeah. want to get acquainted with you. Well, I'm sure I don't know, but if I wasn't trying to keep the conversation going, then we would just be sitting here in an embarrassed silence. Yeah. Are you afraid of silence, Mrs. Peacock? A little bit. What? No, why? No, it just seems to me that you are. You seem to suffer from what we call pressure of speech. We? Who's we? I, I think I do. I do know a little bit about psychological medicine, yes. Oh, you're a doctor? Uh, yeah. I am, but I don't practice. But practice makes perfect. I think most men need a little practice, don't you, Mrs. Peacock? Scarlet, tone it back like a lot. I work for you know the United Nations organization. Look at it. I don't. Yes, but you work for the United Nations. That's a government job. And the rest of us all live in a government town. Anyone here not earn their living from the government one way or another? Wadsworth, where is our host and why we've been brought here? He's not going to say a thing. You are eagerly awaiting us. Who is it? Be, I beg to see. Over my chest, Bobby. May I take your bag? No. Here's the real ending. It contains over 200 diamonds, Mr. Body. Nah, you can take that as a treat. Uh, you're gonna fucking eat the soup like everybody else did. Dick. Now what's going on? Now why I do too. I'm uncomfortable. Up here to this horrible place? Well, I believe we all received a letter. Right. My letter says it will be to your advantage to be present on this date because a Mr. Body will bring to an end a certain long-standing, confidential, and painful financial liability. It is signed a friend. That is a really I weird. A similar letter. So did we, didn't we? I also received a letter. No thanks, sir. Bitch, you're gonna eat now, something. She did not I save all this food for you. Get off her, you perf. Oh my god. Forgive my curiosity, Mr. Body, but did your letter say the same thing? No. I see. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm instructed to explain to you what you all have in common with each other. Right. Let's and talk about it. Unless you would care to do the honors, Mr. Body? Why me? They know who I am? I don't think so. You've never identified yourself with them, I believe. It's a hoax. I suggest we all leave. I'm sorry, sir. You cannot leave this house. No? Who's going to stop me? He There's is? no way out. All the windows have bars. All the doors are locked. This is an outrage. You can't hold us prisoner. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Please return to the study. Everything will be explained. I don't like this. I don't like the idea of being you held too, hostage. Mr. Body. <sighs> now we need to get our answer. Nobody can leave. Uh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, you all have one thing in common. You're all being blackmailed. In what? a considerable what? time, all of you have been paying what you can afford, and in some cases more than you can afford, to someone who threatens to expose you. And none of you know who's blackmailing you, do you? Oh, it's the dude hosting. I've never heard anything so ridiculous. I mean, nobody could blackmail me. My life is an open book. I've never done anything wrong. <laughs> Anybody else wish to deny it? Have you all had some dirt? I mean, everybody Very has well. dirt, but damn. As everyone here is in the same boat, there's no harm in my revealing some details, and my instructions are to do so. Okay. Thank you, Yvette. Why does she have to leave? Professor Plum, you were once a professor of psychiatry, specializing in helping paranoid and homicide lunatics suffering from delusions of grandeur. Yes, but now I work for the United Nations. So your work has not changed. But you don't practice medicine at the UN. Okay. This license to practice has been lifted, correct? Why? What did you do? You know what doctors aren't allowed to do with their lady patients? <gasps> yeah. Well, she did. Oh, oh how disgusting. The shade. Are you making moral judgments, Mrs. Peacock? Yeah, he's coming for you next. How then do you justify taking bribes in return for delivering your husband, Senator Peacock's vote to certain lobbyists? My husband is a paid consultant. There is nothing wrong with that. Not if it's publicly declared. Aha. Uh -huh. My God! But if the payment is delivered by slipping used greenbacks in plain envelopes under the door of the men's room, how would you describe that transaction? That's in stinks. Oh, how would you know? When were you in? Charlotte, I was gonna say, oh, who are you? What is no, your dirt? It's a vicious lie. Um, oh, I'm being blackmailed, all right. But I did what I'm being blackmailed for. Okay, so she do? just. Well, to be perfectly frank, honest I run about a specialized it. hotel and a telephone service which provide gentlemen with the company of the young ladies for a short while. Oh yeah. What's the phone number? Boy, so how did sit you know Colonel Mustard works in Washington? Is he one of your clients? Certainly not. I was asking Miss Scarlet. Well, you tell him it's not true. It's not true. Is that true? No, it's not true. Ha <laughs> ha! So it is true. A double negative. Double negative. What in the hell? Mm -hmm. Crap! That sounds like a confession to me. In fact, the double negative has led to proof positive. I'm afraid you gave yourself away. Are you trying to make me look stupid in front of the other guests? I think you already do, sir. Me, sir. That's right. Well, seriously, That's I don't right. see what's so terrible about Colonel Mustard visiting a. House of ill fame, most soldiers do. I didn't think <laughs> Professor Plum was such a freaking hound dog about everything. Like, damn. And Colonel, you drive a very expensive car for someone who lives on a colonel's pay. You've been paying our friend the blackmailer ever since your husband died under, shall we say, mysterious circumstances. Oh. Oh. Why, is why is it is funny? funny? I see. That's why he was lying on his back in his coffin. I didn't kill him. Then why are you paying the blackmailer? I don't want a scandal, do I? We had had a very humiliating public confrontation. Okay. He was deranged. He was a lunatic. He didn't actually seem to like me very much. He had threatened to kill me in public. Oh, my God. Kill you in public. I think she meant he threatened in public to kill her. Oh. And is that his final word on the matter? Being killed is pretty final, wouldn't you say? <clears throat> I have something to say. Okay. I'm not going to wait for Wadsworth here to unmask me. Uh-huh. I work for the State Department. And I'm a homosexual. Oh, okay. I feel no personal shame or guilt about this. Uh huh. But I must keep it a secret, or I will lose my job on security grounds. Yeah, I mean it was a <sighs> ridiculous. Thank you. Hmm. It just leaves Mr. Body. What's your little secret? His secret? Oh, haven't you guessed? He's the one who's blackmailing you. Dumbasses. I figured. I figured his smug little smile, his attitude coming up in here like he wasn't the fucking host. Oh, I fucking called it. You've all admitted how he's been able to blackmail you. All you have to do is tell the police you'll be convicted and your troubles will be over. Okay. Not so easy. I was going to say, why did we do that in front You'll of him? You'll never tell the police. Then I shall. I have evidence in my possession, and this conversation is being technical. A point of order God, you dumbass. Why did you reveal that? Hey. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, the police will be here in about 45 minutes. Why so long? Tell them the truth, and Mr. Body will be behind bars. What are we going to do until then? Freaking let him walk free? Where are you going this time? I think I can help them make up their mind. Oh, they're going to play Clue. Candlestick. One's gonna be a rope, one's gonna be a gun. Rope! Damn, he tied the noose in that too already. Hot damn. A pipe. He's so a 
amused. Okay, you know what though? Now we all have weapons. So we can get really into this. We can we can fight him down and then we can tie him up and wait for the police. A wrench. All these are blunt force objects. A gun, perfect. He has the key to the front door. Hm. Which he said would only be opened over his dead body. No, no thank you. We're not doing this. <laughs> I suggest we take him up on that offer. Why don't we kill your ass? You're the one who's the blackmailing. The only way finding yourselves on the front pages is for one of you to kill, Watchman. Oh shit, someone actually did it? <laughs> who just screamed? Everybody knew. It's Wait, Watchman. who died? <gasps> it's the body. Stand back! Come here! Let me see. No, see, this is, this is what we wanted. He's the blackmailer, so we wanted to kill this guy. He's dead. Good! Oh, who had the gun? I did. Then you shot him. I didn't. Well, you had the gun. If you didn't shoot him, who did? I heard a vase break or something, though. Nobody! Look, there's no gunshot wound. Somebody tried to grab the gun from me in the dark and the gun went off. Look! Was it the butler? Oh, that bar's on the mantel. Oh, excuse me. <gasps> oh, no! Was it the maid? <gasps> I liked the maid. What? Dude, someone use your tools. It must be the murderer. Why would he scream? He must have a victim in there. Oh my god, he's dead. Oh my god. Hey, you idiot. What did you, you thought the murderer was screaming? You're alive. No, thanks to you. What do you mean? You locked me up with the murderer, you idiot. What? So the murderer is in this room. Mais oui. But where? Where? Here. Here where? We are all looking at him. Or her. What this is one said in the study. One of you is the killer. How did you know he said that? I was listening. But why were you screaming in here all by yourself? Because I am frightened, me too. I also breathe the cognac. Mon Dieu. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't stay in here by myself. This is absolutely terrible. It's not what I'd intended. Oh, my God. Not what you intended. So you're not the butler? What? I'm not the butler, but I'm a butler. Okay. In fact, I'm with his butler. So if he told you to invite us all to his house, why did he arrive late? I invited you. In fact, I wrote the letters. Oh! It was all my idea. Wait a minute. I, 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 I don't understand. Because he was going to get why him in trouble. Why here to meet your maid employer? Were you assisting him to blackmail us? Certainly not. He was trying I to expose him. Explain. Please sit down. Everyone. When I said that I was Mr. Body's butler, this was uh -huh. both true and misleading. I was once his butler. Oh. It was not his untimely death this evening that brought my employment with him to an end. Yes. When did it come to an end? When my wife decided to end her life. Oh, she was my being God. blackmailed by this odious man who now lies dead before us. He so he'd have motive. For the same reason that he hated all of you. He believed that you were all thoroughly un-American. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. For some reason, he felt that it was inappropriate for a senator to have a corrupt wife. For a doctor to take advantage of his patients. For a wife to emasculate her husband and and so forth. I resolved to put Mr. Body behind bars. Yes. It seemed to me the best way to do it and to free all of you from the same burden of blackmail was to get everyone face to face, confront Mr. Body with his crimes, and, and then kill him. Turn him over to the police. So everything is explained. Except the murder. Nothing's explained. We still don't know who killed him. Well, the point is, we've got to find out in the next 39 minutes before the police arrive. My God, we can't have them come here now. But how can we possibly find out which of you did it? What do you mean, which of you did it? Well, yeah. I didn't do it. Well, one of us did. We all had the opportunity. I we still think the butler, motive. because he has well, motive. I mean, they all have motive, but he especially, because of his wife and the whole working for him without any compensation or anything. I mean, really pointing to the butler, but I bet he's going to die next. Well, she's not here. Oh, God, she was dead in the freezer. She's got a, a knife in her back. That the same knife that was given to Scarlet. Don't touch it. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah don't fucking touch it, you idiot. Out, did this. We can't take fingerprints. I think you'd better explain yourself, Wadsworth. Me? Why me? Who would want to kill the cook? You know, it wasn't that bad. Oh, how can you make jokes at a time like this? It's my defense mechanism. Weird. Why are we moving the body, though? Look, what, the boy, you can't calls, just... huh? <gasps> what are you all staring at? Nothing. Well, who's there? Nobody. What do you mean? Nobody. Nobody. That's what we mean. Mr. Body's body, it's gone. Maybe he was. Mr. Body's body's what? gone. We should have made sure. Oh, that should even settle something. That wasn't called for. Where is he? We better look for him. Wow, just throw her body over the freaking threshold, I guess. Damn. Maybe Mr. Body killed the cook. Yes. How? What do you mean, how? If the professor was wrong and he wasn't oh, dead, well, he could easily have done excuse it. Excuse me, I have to, um, pardon me. Are you saying that the X-ray room is on now? Oui, oui, madame. No, I just want to powder my nose. Um, that's suspicious, but I feel like they're leading us. I feel like they want us to think it's suspicious. To which Colonel must have earlier referred. Oh, my God. Are you planning to blackmail him, Wadsworth? Certainly not. Miss Peacock is next. She's got to be unless she's the killer, but I doubt it because they're leading that. Mm, very pretty. Would you like to see these, Yvette? They might shock you. No, merci. I am a lady. Oh, how do you know what kind of pictures they are if you're such a lady? What sort of pictures are they? They are my pictures, and I'd like them back, please. No, I'm afraid there's something in them that concerns me, too. Ah! 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 What the hell? Ah! Oh, he's not even... Dead. Mr. Body. Dead. Again. Oh, my God. She's going to faint. Sorry, can't her. I'll catch him. Oh. Fall into my arms. Oh. Boy, you did a Sorry. shitty ass job catching you her. On your hands. Ugh. I didn't do it. He's got new injuries. Well, he's certainly dead now. Why would anyone want to kill him twice? Seems so unnecessary. Well, that's what we call overkill. What Maybe call he was he came back I mean, he and they didn't think before. he was really What's dead. The difference? That's what we're trying to find out. Okay, put the corpses on the sofa. Put the corpses on the Ladies sofa. First. He said it so casually. Don't put her on her back though, because she's got the knife in. <laughs> Y'all, knock it off. She is not. Why did you sit her up like that? Yeah, She's got the knife in her back. Her. How do we use these? So Jaja will go further into her back. Tip her yes. forward over the arm. Yeah, why didn't you just... Yeah. Now, Get Mr. off Body, the... Who had access to the candlestick? All of us. It was given to you. Yeah, but I dropped it on the table. Anyone could have picked it up. You, him. Look, we still have all these... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Who's missing? Oh, wait. Miss Peacock fainted. The gun... The rope, the red, the lead pipe. Let's put them all in this cupboard and lock it. There's a homicidal maniac about. Okay. Idea. Idea. Yeah, Miss Peacock is the, the only one who's not bottle. here. Why? Well, I mean, she fainted, but they left her body where it was, so, so she. That means that you can open it. Oh wait, you no, want. she's right there. Never mind. You can't. But what if you're the murderer? I'm not I got too excited. What if you are? Well, got to be put somewhere. I was wondering if I could use your phone. No, thank you. It doesn't work. We don't Just have. Just a moment, please. We don't have one. Do not let him in here. Because he's going to die too or he's going to see the bodies. Very well, sir. Would you care to come in? Well, where is it? What, the body? The phone, the phone, the phone you phone. idiot! There's nobody. The... Nobody. There's, there's nobody in the study. Shut up. Stop. But I think there's a phone in the lounge. Thank you. Good. Go to the lounge. Well, what now? Wadsworth, let me out. No. Why not? we got to know who did it. We're all in this together now. If you leave, I'll say that you killed them both. Wow. Yeah, me too. Oh, Wadsworth, I'm so sorry you ever started this. One day when we're alone together. Mrs. White, <gasps> no man in his right mind will be alone together with you. Oh. Well, wow, get wrecked. Oh, oh, so could I. I. I suggest we handle this in proper military fashion. We split up and search for... Oh, I thought he was going to say, up. like... Yes, we have very Something little time else. left, so we'll split up into pairs. Pairs? Yes. Wait a minute. Suppose that one of us is the murderer. If we split up into pairs, whichever one of us is left with a killer might get killed. Then yeah. we would have discovered who the murderer is. But the I... other half of the pair would be dead. Yeah. This is <laughs> Take one for the team. Oh, 
Casualties are inevitable. You cannot make an omelet without breaking eggs every couple of days. Oh my god, days. he's so ready to let somebody else die. <laughs> Right, so we know that the study is clear. Let's go over to the billiard room again. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's not turning his back. Okay, I was like, why are you walking like this? First. No, 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 you, you, can, you can go first. No, 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 I insist. No, I insist. Someone's gonna walk in front. Worse than death? No, just dead, isn't it? Okay. Are you getting in there? Yes, are you? Yes. Okay. All right. Right. Go. Um, I didn't see any light switches in there. Well, neither do I, but there must be a switch here somewhere. Should I come in with you? No. Okay. I'm... No. How do we go together? It's such a narrow space. Girl, we gotta get you a different top, too. This is not investigator outfit. This is not for... Oh, shit! Ooh, lights. Okay, it's the light switch, girl. Calm down. That's a pretty room! You look. I'll search the kitchen. Uh, what the hell? Okay, so I guess my leads so far are Tim Curry, who is the butler, because he, like I said, has the the biggest motive because he worked for the guy. He had his wife who was being blackmailed, and then she took her own life, which was obviously very affecting on him, as it would be out of anyone. Um, and then, but he, but he seems like he's leading me in a direction of like they want me to think it's him, so that I'm not gonna think it's him. Hmm. And then my other alternative is maybe the maid, because I don't know what her motive would be, but the maid could possibly be one, because nobody's even questioned her. Where the hell? <gasps> They're burning the evidence! Oh my god! They're wearing fucking gloves, too. Why would they want to burn the evidence? Because they don't want him to get caught? It's the wrench. There's a whole group of people here having some sort of party. And one of them is my old boss. <gasps> it adds more layers. They all know each other. Oh, oh shit. You went through the secret passage. Looks like a secret passage. What? what the hell? Oh, we found a flashlight. I'll go well, that's first. good. I've a good life. I'll go first. I've had a good life. Damn, girl. So this is where they came. They just missed him then. Or them. Oh my Did you not God. see the body when you came in here? Oh my gosh. It's no good. Stand back. Oh, he's gonna break it. I'm just gonna have to break it. Okay, you go ahead, Tim Curry. Yeah. That was funny. Do it again. She has what? Wait, shut up. We're doing our best. She's gonna shoot the lock. Girl, what the are you doing? Someone's gonna die by that chandelier. I've been shot. I've been shot. I've been shot. I've been shot. Okay, now we're back on this guy. Okay. We found him together. How did you get in? The door was locked. It's a great trick. There's a secret passageway from the conservatory. It's not the same gun. From the cupboard. But it was locked. No, it was unlocked. Unlocked. But yes, see for yourself. 
It's unlocked. See, I still I mean, know maybe it's unlocked. How did you the maid, the but how would she? I didn't. I think I could break it open, but it was open already. A likely story. What the hell? Good evening, sir. <sighs> you cannot shut the door back in his face like that. Yes. I found an abandoned car down near the gates of this house. Did the driver come in here for any help by any chance? No. 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 no, no, no. no. Well, actually, yes. Dumbass. There seemed to be some kind of disagreement. Yeah, no. dumbass. Why did you no, say yes? No. 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 Yes. What are you doing? Can I come in and use your phone? Of no. Of course you may, sir. You may use the one in the um. No. Uh, you could use the one in the. St no. Oh, would you be kind enough to wait in the um in in the um, uh, library? Sure. I don't like this. I don't want to bring someone else in to get murdered. And also, we're all acting incredibly shady. Don't I know you from someplace? Maybe. You all seem to be very anxious about something. You idiot! Why are you walking them? That makes it so much more suspicious. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? You told well, very well for you to say that now. I said it then. Oh, shut up. Yeah, what the fuck are we gonna tell him now? You're lo you locked a police officer in the library. <gasps> and now the phone rang. Who's that? Hello? Maybe the cop answered it. And who shall I say is calling? <laughs> uh, would you hold on, please? I'm not the owner of the house. Hold on. There's a phone call! Let me out of here! Just sit it so you would open the door. Uh, There's someone on the phone for you. Here. And why would you lock me in? Yeah, that's why seems are stupid. you receiving phone calls from J. Edgar Hoover? J. Edgar Who's Hoover. J. Edgar? That's right. The head of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Why is J. Edgar Hoover on your phone? I didn't know. Mm. He's on everybody else's. Why shouldn't he be on mine? Excuse My me. gosh. What's going on in those two rooms? Uh which two we rooms? We have a gas leak. Oh, are they gonna pretend? Those oh my two. gosh, what are they doing? Oh, those two rooms. Yeah. Uh, mm -mm. Officer, I don't think you should go in there. Why not? Um, because it's all too shocking. <laughs> what are they doing? <clears throat> oh my god. I can explain everything. You don't have to. I don't. Don't worry. There's nothing illegal about any of this. Are you sure? <laughs> he doesn't say. This is America. I see. This it's is America. Country. Don't you know that? I didn't know it was that free. <laughs> May I use your phone now? Certainly. Sure. Go on in there. Do not lock the door again. Why are you doing this? Stop locking the fucking door. Finish searching the house yet? Well, we're running out of time. Only 15 minutes before the police come. The police already came. Oh, shut up. Shut up. <sighs> Wait, the power? Shit! Someone just turned off the power. Oh my gosh, girl. Girl. <gasps> Shit. <gasps> That's gotta be her, right? Cause she would only she'd be the only one other than Hello? the owner who knows where the power Hello? source is. Shut the door. I recognize you. <gasps> Thank <laughs> you. 
far. There's something funny going on out here. Okay, so it's like it can't be the maid then. I don't know what it is. Hello? Hello? I was just gonna say what this movie is missing is more um murders to add to the suspense, and I feel like we have that now. Are you there? Could that be? Uh, Who the hell are you? Uh, just singing telegram. <gasps> you don't see that? I like how they just walk away. Like, okay, we're not even going to acknowledge. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So we're kind of getting down to the same people. Two murders. Telegram person. Three murders. Six altogether. You're getting serious. When was it not serious? Very well. I know who did it. You do? And furthermore, I'm going to tell you how it was all done. Follow me. And the doorbell rang, and it was Mrs. White looking pale and tragic. And I took her coat and hung it up. It's just reliving everything. And I introduced Mrs. White to Colonel Mustard. Hello. Hello. And I noticed that Mrs. White and Yvette flinched. Then there was a rumble of thunder and a crash of lightning. And to make a long story short, Too late. one by one you all arrived. And then the garden was by the cook. And we went into the dining room. Uh-huh. I, I remember all of this. I was here. here. And Professor Plum sat here. And Mrs. White sat here. And Mr. Green, Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard. This chair was vacant. Anyway, we all revealed we'd all received a letter. You'd had a letter, and you'd had a letter, and you'd had a letter. Yes, yeah. I was going to say, what are we doing? Mail. Yes, we know. All this came out after dinner in the study. You're right. Mrs. Peacock took a drink. You said, maybe it's poisoned. She screamed. <laughs> 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 Wow! <laughs> I had to stop her screaming. Then, more screaming. Event, the billiard room. We all rushed up. While we stood here, trying to stop Event from panicking, one of us should have stayed in the study, picked up the dagger, run down the hall. Run down the hall? Oh, how could he risk it? We might have seen him running back. Not if they used this secret passage. passageway. Yes! Ran back down the secret passage to the study. How did you know? This house belongs to a friend of mine. I've known all along. So you could be the murderer. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. If I was the murderer, why would I reveal to you how I did it? Be clever. Who else? Who else knew about the secret passage? We found it. Colonel Mustard and me. You found it? You could have known about it all the time. But I didn't. Well, why should we believe you? Because she was with us all in the billiard room doorway while Yvette was screaming. Don't you remember? But what I don't so who are we talking was about? She murdered. She had nothing to do with Mr. Body. But he could blackmail anyone. Mr. Body had to discover their guilty secret. The cook and Yvette were his accomplices. I see. So whoever knew that the cook was involved killed her? Yes. So it was him. I know. Because I was Mr. Body's butler. That the cook had worked for one of you. Who? Who? You recognized it that, didn't you? Don't deny it. What do you mean, don't deny it? I'm not denying anything. Miss White? I'm denial. <laughs> oh, right, it's true. I knew Yvette. My husband had an affair with her, but I didn't care. I wasn't jealous. <laughs> you knew Yvette, too, didn't you? Yes, she worked for me. And you also knew... Really? Her, Everybody just freaking knew this girl. ...one of Miss Scarlet's clients. That's why you were so desperate to get your hands on those minutes. Back to the study! The murderer was in the secret passage. Meanwhile, Mr. Body oh. beat on the floor. He jumped up. Oh my. The murderer came out of the secret panel, picked up the candlestick. Uh -huh. Mr. Body followed the side of the study into the hall looking for an escape. The murderer crept up behind him and killed him. Okay. Will you stop that? Yeah, stop no. throwing him around. Colonel Mustard has a top-secret Pentagon job. Mrs. White's husband was a nuclear physicist, and... Yvette is a link between them. What is your top-secret job, Colonel? 
I can tell you. He's working on the secret of the next fusion bomb. <gasps> oh. How did you know that? Can you keep a secret? Yes, they can I. Is this a plot between them, Wadsworth, or did Colonel Mustard do it alone? We shall see. Let's look at the other murders. Yes. Bad luck that that motorist arrived at that moment. It wasn't luck. I invited him. You oh, my you God. Know. See, I'm telling you. Everyone here tonight was either Mr. Body's victim or accomplice. Everyone who has died gave him vital information about one of you. Was the policeman working for Mr. Body, too? The cop was from Washington. He was on my payroll. I bribed him once a week so I could carry on with business. Mr. Body found out somehow. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. And the singing telegram girl? I don't know. She was my patient once. I had an affair with her. Oh, wow. That's how I lost my license. Mr. Body found that out, too. <gasps> oh, whoever it is, they gotta go away or they'll be killed. Oh. Good evening. Have you ever given any thought to the kingdom of heaven? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You ain't just whistling Dixie. Armageddon is almost upon us. I got news for you. It's already here. It's already no here. But your souls are in danger. Our lives are in danger, you sweet bitch. I'm in the billiard room listening to our conversation. She heard the gunshot. She thought he was dead. And while we all examined the bullet hole, she crept into the study, picked up the dagger, ran to the kitchen, and stabbed the cook. We didn't hear the cook scream. Because Mrs. Peacock was screaming about the poisoned brandy. Then Yvette returned to the billiard room. She screamed, and we all ran to her. Well, when did she kill Mr. Body? When I said. We all ran to the kitchen to see the cook. Right. Yvette hid in the study to check that Mr. Body was dead. He got up and followed them down the hall. So she hit him on the head with a candlestick and he dragged him to the He got up so fast. Why? To create confusion. It worked. Why did she do it? Was it because she was acting under orders? from the person who later killed her. It was her employer, Miss Scarlet. That's a lie. Is it? You used her the way you always used her. You killed the motorist when we split up and searched the house. How could I have known about the secret passage? Easy. Yvette told you. Ooh. So when we split up again, you switched off the electricity. It was easy for you here on the ground floor. Then in the dark, you got the lead pipe and the rope, strangled Yvette, that's a stupid way to abuse that rope. Why did she do it from the front? You don't do that. You would do it from behind. Like, what the fuck? The Who would do it like that? Picked up the gun where Yvette dropped it, opened the front door, recognized the singing telegram from her photograph, and shot her. Yes. Worked out, Wadsworth. Uh, oh, shit! Me too! Shut up! Now, there's one thing I Scarlet. don't Scarlet! One thing? Why did you do it? Half of Washington knows what kind of business you run. You were in no real danger. Yeah. The whole town would be implicated if you were exposed. I don't think they know my real business. What is your real assassin? My business is secrets. Oh. And Yvette found them out for me. Okay. The secrets of Senator Peacock's defense committee. Of Colonel Mustard. I can't believe it's actually one of the main characters. Set to plumb his UN contacts. And the works of your husband. The nuclear physicist. Except you, Wadsworth. You, as a mere butler, have no access to government secrets. I'm so put off that it's actually Scarlet because I just swear I thought it was probably Tim Curry because he was he was so like he knew everything. He knew everything down to the point. But out of nowhere, it's Scarlet. I guess she was the most standoffish oh, all night. I'm afraid your moment has come. Not so fast, Miss yeah, Scarlet. I do fucking shoot Tim Curry. Oh yeah, such as the game's up, Scarlet. There are no more bullets left in that gun. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, you don't seem to fall for that old trick. Not a trick. There was one shot at Mr. Body in the study, two for the chandelier, two at the lounge door, and one for the singing telegram. That's not six. One plus two plus two plus one. Uh-uh. One, one plus two plus two plus one. That's one plus two plus one plus one. Even if you were right, that would be one plus one plus two plus one, not one plus two plus one plus one. Tim Curry. Oh! <laughs> what did you do? How did he do? Let me see. How did he do that? I'm a real guest. Where's the chief? Oh, my gosh, it was him. Well done. I did warn you, my dear. Mr. Hoover is an expert on Armageddon. Wadsworth, don't hate me for trying to shoot you. Frankly, Scarlett, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't I give a damn. damn. No bullets left in this gun, you see? <gasps> oh, shit, there was one. He did math wrong. He did it wrong. One plus two. Is 
this one. This. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> That's how it could have happened. Wait, so it didn't happen like that? But how about this? In the dark, the murderer ran across the hall to the study, picked up the rope and the lead pipe, ran to the billiard room, strangled the event. Rang to the library, hit the cop on the head with the lead pipe. Then, coming out of the library, the doorbell rang with a zingy telegram. The murderer picked up the gun where Yvette dropped it, ran to the door, opened it, recognized the girl from her photograph, shot her, and then ran back to the cellar. Thank you, Wink. You were the person who was missing when the cook and Mr. Body were oh murdered. My and God. the cook used to be your cook. Don't you remember your fatal mistake? You told us at dinner that we were eating one of your favorite recipes. Yes. And monkey's brains, though popular in Cantonese cuisine, are not often to be found in Washington, D.C. <laughs> How many? Are we going to do everybody? <laughs> are we going to do everybody? Nothing. Nothing at all. I don't approve of murder. But it seems to me you've done the world a public service by ridding it of an appalling blackmailer and his disgusting yes. informers. But the police will be here any minute. What happens then? Why should the police come? Nobody's called them. What do you mean? What? You didn't call them? Right. Now, I suggest that we stack the bodies in the cellar, lock it, leave quietly one at a time, and pretend that none of this has ever happened. Great idea. I'll leave first. I told you I didn't do it. But what if the authorities find out what happened? The FBI will take care of that. You mean my phone call from Mr. Hoover? I worked for him, of course. How else could I have known everything about you all? There's still one thing I don't understand. Yes. One thing. Who was Many Mrs. Things. Peacock taking bribes from? A foreign power. Her husband, the senator, has influence over defense contracts. Is there going to be a cover-up? Isn't that in the public interest? What could be gained by exposure? But is the FBI in the habit of cleaning up after multiple murders? Yeah. He's the guy. Oh, but you know my name. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. <gasps> hey, take her away. Take your hands off me. I'm the senator's wife. Oh, my God. Come on, we got her. Oh, my gosh. We're going to do everybody. We're literally going to do everybody. Who's next? Sorry. Didn't mean to frighten anyone. You're a bit late for that. Then there were three more murders. <laughs> <So> <laughs> we're gonna go through everybody. Let's consider each murder one by one. One fatal mistake. Sitting here at dinner, Mrs. Peacock told us that she was eating one of her favorite recipes. Right, we already talked about and this. And monkey's brains, so popular in Cantonese cuisine, are not often to be found in Washington, D.C. Colonel Mustard, when we saw the motors at the front door, you took the key to the weapons cupboard out of my pocket. Oh, then so. you suggested that we all split up. You separated from Miss Scarlet, mm -hmm. crossed the hall, opened the cupboard, mm -hmm. took the wrench, ran to the conservatory, entered the lounge through the secret passage, killed the motorist with a blow on the head. Like that! Like that! This is incredible! Not so incredible as what happened next! Yes, I did it. I killed Yvette. I hate it. Right, but we also, Colonel San or Colonel, I almost said Colonel Sanders. Colonel Mustard also would be guilty then. So much. It, it, the, it, flames, flames, flames on the side of my face. Flames? Breathing, breath, heaving breath, heaving breath. But while we were in the billiard room, Miss Scarlet seized the opportunity and under cover of darkness got to the library where she hit the cop whom she'd been bribing on the head with a lead pipe. True oh my gosh. False. So everybody. True. Who are you? Three Mason. Gun is missing. Whoever's got the gun shot the girl. Oh shit. I shot them. Tim Curry Damn. got her. So it was you. It was Tim I was Curry. Going to expose you. I know. So I choose to expose myself. Please, okay. there are ladies present. You thought Mr. There Bobby are ladies present. None of you even met him till tonight. You're Mr. Bot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, who did I kill? My butler. Some... Oh my god, that is not your butler. Shut up. He was expendable, like all of you. I'm grateful to you all my for disposing god. of my network of spies and informers. Saved me a lot of trouble. Why shouldn't we get away with it? We'll stack the bodies in the cellar, lock it, leave quietly one at a time, and forget that any of this ever happened. <laughs> and you'll just, you'll just go on blackmailing us all. Of course. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why not. 
Oh my god, he also had a gun. Good shot. Oh, Tim Curry. Okay. All right, we're done it. All of them. They all did it. Especially Tim Curry. Killed Mr. Body. I did. In the hall. With, With the revolver. The revolver. <laughs> okay, Chief, take him away. I'm gonna go home and sleep with my wife. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so that was a lot of fun, actually. Um, I was really surprised I enjoyed this movie. There was a bit of a lull in there where I feel like about the middle part of the movie, I started to be like, okay, how much, how much longer do we have? And there was also a part where I'm glad they included more... Um, murders only because i was a little bit confused i was like we're only killing characters that are off characters that are like not the main cast and obviously i mean that makes sense because we want the main board game characters to be in the movie but like i was like okay so who has it got to be then because it's got to be one of the main characters then and it's we're like killing the maid who i originally thought was the you know the person and then i was like well no maybe it's the butler and then at the end they kind of showed you who it actually was and it could have been Scarlet, it could have been Miss Peacock, and then I thought we were going to do everybody, but I'm going to consent to the ending being that the FBI agent was the guy, was the gay guy, and the, or the, the guy who was pretending to be gay, and, um, I'm going to say that that's the ending, that's canon for me, because Tim Curry also being the villain <laughs> was really good for me, I was like, I knew it. I knew the minute that it said Tim Curry in this freaking cast that he was going to be a villain or at some point he was going to be the villain because that guy just can't have a role where he isn't the menacing type. I just, he can't, he won't, and he doesn't. So I really enjoyed this. Loved Tim Curry. Thought he was a great time. A lot of fun. Very cute in this role, actually. He looked very, uh, very attractive. He must have been very young in this role because I've never really seen Tim Curry let alone Tim Curry this young. Um, also, I have to say, honestly, the kind of keeping you guessing was kind of neat because it kind of had me guessing the whole time as in, you know, like, okay, maybe it's this person, maybe it's this person. But I was trying not to fall into that trap of like what they want you to think because far too often I feel like it's like they want, they try to push you to kind of think of like, oh, they want you to think this. So I was trying to kind of counteract it by thinking the opposite of what they want me to think and then I overthought it. So... I'm really glad I checked that out, though. It was a lot of fun. The um, the homages are really good. I loved it. Um, I don't know if I'd check this out again, but I'm glad that I checked it out for the Halloween season. I feel like it's not really spooky, but it's kind of like a fun murder mystery, which is exactly what I wanted. And I feel like that kind of fits the theme of Halloween, like a murder mystery, you know, sit there with a cup of, ki cup of tea or cocoa and just kind of watch this. This would be a nice fall film. But I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. And if you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys. Bye.